Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to dive into something really important. How chronic low grade inflammation actually occurs. Now I want you to keep in mind that there are six main reasons. Let's break it down for you. First up, exposure to chemicals and pollutants like tobacco can really mess with your body and contribute to this long lasting inflammation. So watch out for that. Secondly, if your diet doesn't include fresh fruits and veggies, healthy fats, herbs and spices, well, that can also be a factor in this issue. So maybe it's time to start adding that good stuff to your plate. Next on the list is excessive alcohol consumption. Now, I'm not saying you can't have a good time, but just be aware that it can play a part in this chronic low-grade inflammation thing. So moderation is key, my friend. Now, here's a big one, a sedentary lifestyle. If you're not physically active, guess what? It can contribute to this pesky inflammation. So please get off that couch and start moving. Feeling stressed or social isolation has also been linked to this condition. Yeah, it's true. So take care of yourself mentally and emotionally. Find ways to relax and connect with others. It's good for your body too. Last but not the least, excess weight around your belly, known as visceral fat, can be associated with chronic low-grade inflammation. Now, as we dig deeper into this topic, it becomes clear that inflammation plays a role in many medical conditions. So don't forget to stick around for our next video where we'll talk about effective strategies to put out these slow burning, smoldering fires. Trust me, you won't want to miss it. Thanks for watching guys. And don't forget to like, save and share this video to keep me relevant on this platform so more people can benefit from this information. And we'll see you next time.